Don't talk to me about your white privilege. Until you've walked in my shoes, I will listen. Don't complain to me how difficult it is to survive. When you have been, when you have bent over backwards beyond the norm, come talk to me about this injustice and humility. Raised in the North, never thought white privilege existed. Moved to the South and became a victim of it. I'm the fifth person in line at Hardee's. The four white people ahead of me ordered bacon and eggs sandwich. They all had to wait for the cooks to cook them. I ordered fried chicken, which was in abundance, ready to be served. The cashier prepared my order and I paid, but had me wait with the others. Can I have my order, please? I asked. You have to wait. There are people ahead of you. She was right. There were 10 white people ahead of me waiting for their food to be cooked. I want to talk to the manager, I said. The manager realized the situation and gave me my order. The 10 white people yelled at him, telling him I had to wait like them. So don't talk to me about your white privilege. I pulled into the parking area of Starbucks. A white guy was backing out of his parking space. I blew my car horn to let him know I was behind him. He stopped. As I parked my car, the white guy watched me. When I got out of my car, he yelled at me. You supposed to wait, jackass. Being from New York City, I ran towards the white guy's car to kick his ass. The white guy zoomed away. So don't talk to me about your white privilege. When I had my house built on property that was left to my grandmother that was bought by her grandfather, I have experienced white privilege in action. The company I bought the home from was white owned. The salesman who sold me the house was white. The builders who built the house was white. And of course, the county I live in is 86% white. Bought the house in September 2014. The salesman said I would be spending 2014 Christmas in my house. In reality, I didn't move into my house until September 2015. Why? It appeared that the county came up with a ton of reasons why I couldn't have my house. You see, they changed the rules on who can and cannot have a home in the county. But these rules didn't apply to me because I was grandfathered in, so they say. The salesman said, yes, you are grandfathered in, but you didn't read the fine print. I had torn down my grandmother's trailer home, was going to replace it with my new double wide trailer home. The fine print stated that there had to be electricity operating in the old home for two years in order to be grandfathered in. This was, for, this was 2014 and my grandmother died in 2008. So I had to buy a modular home, more expensive and costly, and it was what the county wanted. No more trailer homes. The salesman called me. Hey. They're saying the land don't perk and there is no record of a septic system on the property. The county won't let you have the house. I replied, that's absurd. My grandmother lived on that property for 40 years and she did have a septic system and the land did perk. Leave it to me. Give my guy, who's white, $500 and he'll make it perk. Money talks, bullshit walks. So don't talk to me about your white privilege. The salesman called again. The county said there's a fresh water stream on the property and you got to follow EPA regulations on building the house. They won't let you have the house. This I didn't know about the fresh water stream. But leave it to me. I know a guy 
who is white, who can customize a septic system that won't harm the freshwater stream. The salesman called once again. Hey, the county won't let you have that house because you bought that land and you're not grandfathered in. In my fury, I replied, you tell that motherfucking white county that my great grandfather bought that land in 1913. So don't talk to me about your white privilege. About two weeks, the county agreed that I inherited the property and was truly grandfathered in. The owner of the company called. Look, I don't know what's going on. I've been doing this for 25 years and I have never in my life had to get 10 permits and have a county put up so many obstacles in order to build on a property. Why are they doing this to you? I'm calling you because now the county fired the guy who was in charge of approving all of my permits. The new guy they hired wants to start the whole process over again because he is not familiar with the old process. I informed the county that my lawyer would be suing them in the morning. And the county backed down and I got my house. So don't talk to me about your white privilege. I have a white friend. We go to the same gym and we hang out at Starbucks. My white friend can't tolerate the other white guys at the gym. Why is this, I ask? They're upset about losing their white privilege, he replied. My white friend, a former Mormon turned atheist, basked in the enjoyment of white privilege until his six white privileged sons married women of color and produced biracial children. His fears of the white privilege backlash is a thorn in his side. He sees and senses the animosity that his biracial grandchildren have to deal with. But even he has come to realize that his white privilege days are numbered. So don't talk to me about your white privilege. This is Eric. And that was the craziness that lives inside my head.